usually when you're in a mobile home community, uh, after a storm, you're going to find some damage. Have you, have you found that there, Masa? Yes, we have, Keith. We came back to the location where we were about 30 hours ago. We said uh, these are the homes that are most at risk. And check it out right here. You can see that the entire roof has fallen over, been ripped off. Right here, the carport, it is in pieces. Part of it are on, is on the ground right here. Now, incredibly, they still have power here. I've been in touch with some of the people that I had interviewed uh, yesterday, and they tell me they are safe, they are okay, but there are uh, reports that have been ripped off because of the wind and we tried to go down around this entire community but we had to turn back because uh, there's quite a bit of water that's pulled down over there down the street so we didn't want to obviously drive through that that's dangerous but i'm going to tell you some of uh, the other scenes that we've seen as we went across uh, western manatee county uh, we saw downed power lines. We saw a lot of debris on Cortez Road as we were driving down. We saw large areas where it appeared the power was out. We, we went back to Cortez Fishing Village and we shot up because we wanted to shoot another mobile home community there as well, mobile home community there as well. But we had a lot of communication issues. The cell service wasn't working there at all. So. As we have been going around, you can probably hear and tell that the wind is still snapping up back where we are right now. But uh, we haven't seen any major structural damage. We have seen uh, parts of another mobile home community in the road. We have seen about, I would say, half a dozen trees in the road, some of them pretty significant blocking off Cortez uh, Road. So we've been out here for about 12 hours. and. It actually doesn't feel as bad as it was. It's not as cold, it's not as windy. The rain is has almost come to an end, but now we're just starting to see kind of the damage that's left behind. And again, this home right here, the roof ripped off, the carport destroyed. And again, I'm told by neighbors here that that's the case with other homes, but it's just not safe for us to check that out right now. Masa, I'm surprised that uh, you even had a chance to talk to some neighbors there because most of these areas, mobile home parks in particular, were part of the evacuation or encouraged to evacuate. Uh, are you saying there's a lot of people still staying in the homes there where you are located? So I've been communicating with them via text, and there uh, were two people in particular that I know have stayed behind, and I've been texting with them, and so they are safe, they are okay. Uh, they told me that they estimate about 10% of the neighbors, I believe there's 293 units in this complex where we're at right now, and they estimate about 10% of their neighbors decided to ride out this storm. and. One woman that I spoke with, uh, her name is Cozy. The reason she says she couldn't leave is because her husband is very ill. He's had multiple surgeries in the past uh, few months, so she felt like she couldn't go, that it wasn't safe for him to not be in the house. So I'm just so grateful that they're okay. She's so happy that they're okay. And um, yeah, so yeah. we just hope that everyone who did stay behind is safe, Jennifer yeah. and Keith.